Hello everybody and welcome to a little video where I'm going to show you how to get all the rewards or what you need to do in order to get the rewards for season 8 of Diablo. And as is the theme for every season thus far, as we go forward with each season, things have been getting more and more difficult in order to get all of the rewards. That said, if you just want the portrait frame and the wings, then it's it's pretty easy. It essentially means getting to 70 and doing some stuff. Uh, so let's go through all of the things, uh, starting from the chapter. So this is how you're going to get your gear when you hit 70. Uh, the first being chapter 2. Now you do actually get gear from completing chapter two and then chapter three and chapter four so unlike before you know in other seasons where you had to do like a greater rift 20 solo and then that would give you two of your pieces hitting 70 would get two of your pieces and then killing a boss would get you your last sets of pieces so you end up with uh, your entire six set with it only really needing to do three objectives this is different you actually do need to finish an entire chapter so chapter two will get you two pieces so nephilim rift uh, craft a 70 item at the blacksmith. So you're not going to get them early, these pieces. You have to be pretty much 70 in order to do this because you need to raise all these guys to, you know, level 12. You have to hit 70 in general. Zoltan cool uh, at level 60 on hard difficulty. So none of, none of this is difficult. Pretty much everybody can do that. Uh, chapter 3 is pretty much the same thing. Not that difficult. Transmogrify an item. Five blacksmith, excuse me, recipes. Uh, five jewel crafting recipes which means you do have to do bounties because those will come from the the bounty satchels. And then kill Urzel at 70 on Master, Skeleton King at 70 on Master, act 1 through 5 bounties in a single game. See how this is kind of all like tying together? You do all the bounties, you get all the, the, the patterns, and then you pretty much finish this off. Extract a legendary power. So you do the bounties, you get all the patterns, and then you also extract. That's chapter 3. And then chapter four is is a pretty easy. Uh, we still have to do the Greater Rift 20 solo, but then kill Butcher and Adria on Torment uh, 2 and then Torment 4. So we're getting a little bit more difficult there. But at this point, you already have a four set bonus, so you should be able to do this stuff no problem. Use Kanai's Cube to upgrade a rare item. None of this is really that difficult. Most people could figure this out. Uh, it's, it's when you start getting into the upper three here that things get more difficult. And I'm going to teach you how to min-max it to get the rewards the quickest way. Um, first off, let's go to Destroyer. So that'll give you the like silver one. Three legendary gems to level 45. Not too difficult. Craft a Hellfire amulet. Yeah, not too difficult, especially considering you'll have killed the Key Wardens by then. Uh, that's part of the objectives. Then complete one conquest. We'll, we'll show you those at the end. Uh, those actually w are going to be pretty difficult for the average player. If you aren't the average player, you're above average, you're probably already playing this season and you've already gotten this. So I don't really need to get into that too much, but for the average player, this is going to be difficult. Kill Rakanoth and Queen Arane on Torment 13. Use Kanai's Cube to augment an Ancient Legendary with a 30 plus gem. This one right here, this is the one that we need to keep an eye on. Do not do this one immediately. Save it because this actually carries on for the next two. I'll show you what I mean. So we go from Destroyer to Conqueror. By the way, this is the one that could choose a stash tab. So if that's something important to you, Make sure you finish this one at least. Um, then use Kanai's Cube to augment two ancient legendary items with a 40 plus gem. And then finally, use Kanai's Cube to augment three ancient legendary items with a 50 plus gem. But with that in mind, you also level three legendary gems to level 70. So this is how you do this. You're going to do all of your Greater Rifts and you're going to push forward. The idea being that you get to Greater Rift 70. Um, this is because this is also one of the objectives here, Greater Rift 70 solo. Now, when you do that, you should be able to get all of your gems, all three gems. You want three gems up to level 70. That's your goal here. If you want to do this the most optimal way and only get the rewards out of the season, not push for leaderboard. So you level three gems to level 70. You take those three gems and then you use those three gems to augment your gear. I 
I switched builds. I was going to do Yuliana all the way to 75, but I switched to the generator monk. And what ended up happening is I ended up having four gems. So I had already used one and then I used uh, two more. So I'm left with 170 gem um, left. But this means that you complete all three at once and make sure you do all the other objectives. I I suggest using d3resource.com slash journey. It will show you all of the objectives and you can kind of check them off as you go. I'll put that link in the description. But essentially what ends up happening is you complete uh, three of the journeys all at once. You do Destroyer, Conqueror, and Guardian. So let's quickly look at the rest of the Destroyer stuff um, because we do want to make sure that everything is is uh, capable of being done. And by the way, by completing Greater Rift 70 solo, you also you know, finish off the 50 and 60, which you need to do uh, through Destroyer. And conqueror but extract 20 legendary powers to an ice cube that goes all the way up in guardian to 40 and that's really important to keep an eye on just you know making sure that you have enough legendaries that are stashed up that and you're putting those in the cube but with that in mind you're having to complete three conquests and the most difficult part of the stupid season is to kill belial on uh, Torment 13 within 45 seconds. You see it right there. Kill Belial at level 70 in under 45 seconds on Torment 13. You you could potentially do this solo. It is going to be very difficult. If you want this portrait frame, you're going to have to group up with people and do this because it is it is really hard. We did it with a... Uh, I was playing as the Generator Monk, which does a lot of damage, um, but we also had a Archon Wizard a shadows demon hunter which is kind of all about single target damage so he wanted to kill the boss that was his goal and then a unhallowed essence demon hunter the first phase killing those stupid snakes that spawn as quickly as possible is going to be one of the biggest time sinks and then the final time sink is going to be that third phase because a lot of the time that belial is sitting there talking is time being wasted and you only have 45 seconds to do it it's very difficult and a lot of people didn't actually want to add it in the season from the ptr but they added it uh, anyway so if you want this portrait frame that's going to be the most difficult part let's quickly talk about conquests because there's not easy ones that, i mean there are easy ones but there's they're more tedious than anything the first one that is going to be probably the most achievable if you're going for three conquests is going to be greater rift 75 solo uh this was pretty much the same from last season it's not that hard to get to greater rift 75 solo i was able to do it with this generator monk and yuliana so you can kind of do it with uh pretty much every monk build uh, generally that does you know is more for solo but all of the other classes can get to 75 solo no problem as long as you have the correct builds for it the next one that'll be the easiest is Curses. Uh, just Actually, this is probably the easiest one. It's just the most annoying one to do because you have to get the Cursed Pete in Act 5 uh, in order for it to, uh, to work. And it has to be on Torment 10, so not Torment 13 at least. Um, but Kill 350, you can, again, get into public groups for this. Uh, you could search the communities. One thing that I did, because I, I wasn't playing with uh, buddies this time around, I was playing solo. I just went and found the conquest communities, and that's how I managed to get in a group for curses. And then boss mode uh, is to kill all of the bosses on Torment 10 within 20 minutes of the start of the game, which means people need to split up, but you have to be there for the kill for it to count. So you have to split up, you get to the beginning of a boss room and then you teleport back to the town and then you go into someone else's. So basically all four people run, get their teleport ready. And then uh, the one person, one of the people starts a boss, then everybody goes into that boss, but then you don't use your T button. You don't teleport back to town. You just open your map and you click on whatever camp you're at uh and then your teleport will remain from before it won't remove your teleport so then you go back through your portal and you'll be in front of a boss and then that's that's how you end up doing that you do all four people you rinse and repeat until all the bosses are dead mouth ale is one of the ones that takes the longest and so is belial because of the time so um if you're close on time try to optimize those as much as possible 
Then if you need to do any of the other ones, uh, obviously there's always the hardcore options on those, but then, you know, this is a pretty easy one to do if you want to level a couple characters. Uh, you really only need two characters to do this because each, I think every single class has three sets that can do greater rift 55 solo. Uh, so that's an option. Basically you just need six uh, set bonuses on this list in greater rift 55 solo. You could do that in hardcore as well. And then finally, this is probably the most annoying one, master eight of the following set dungeons. It's it's not difficult, it's just annoying to do and annoying to set up and to have eight of the sets uh, pretty much collected and everything. So basically two characters worth. It's, it's not fun and it's kind of annoying, but I did one because you have to do at least one mastering of a set dungeon for your seasonal journey. But that's how you get everything. Again, you have the... All of the portraits here, you can kind of pick and choose which one you want to get to. The gold one is when you get the uh, stash tab. And then, obviously, you have the awesome Andario wings. So if that is anything that seems interesting in getting the season, a season that has pretty much nothing new at all other than the rewards, then go for it. Otherwise, don't bother with this season. Wait for season 9 or whatever is going to be happening in the future with Diablo. But with that being said... We shall see you guys next time.